What's up everybody, Lucas here. So, they did it again. EcoFlow sent me, this time, a solar panel. As I may have hinted in my last video. Solar panel charging plug right here. Man, I wish I had a solar panel. Hey guys, send me a solar panel. <laughs> they listened, they heard, they answered. So apparently it's the 110 watt four folded solar panel. So it fo folds into four pieces. So it's probably gonna be four times the size of this. That's gonna be a lot of sun. Obviously, the uses for a solar panel are pretty self-explanatory. To harness the sun's power so you can power your appliances on the go. <laughs> I can finally live off the grid now, seriously. I haven't opened this thing, I don't know what to expect. I actually never really used a solar panel other than that little uh, phone solar panel thing before, but I mean, did that thing even really work? Who even knows, honestly. It's a sunny day out, let's unbox this thing. Let's try to soak up some sun power, see what we can power up. And let's hook it up to the EcoFlow Delta 1300. Let's open it up, all right. Ooh. So sick. This is the box within the box. Yep, it comes as a carrying case too, so you can carry it around inside of this box. I always love when things do that. And then within the case comes another case. So a box within a box, the second box is a case, and then there's a case within that box. An even nicer case. Ooh, that has your solar panel in there. Silica gel packs. As a prepper, you should save those. Ooh, fancy case. Look at that. So the solar panel already comes in a case. And honestly, guys, it doesn't even weigh that much. Like this, doesn't weigh that much. Handle opens up, has nice zips. Ooh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, ready? So we got the 110 watt one, which is the four fold out. Thank you guys. Whoa, this is so cool. Hold on, check this out. Monocrystal silicon cells inside. So that opens like that. This, oh man. Oh man, that is legit. So we have the EcoFlow Delta 1300 and we take the solar panel hookup wires that this thing came with. Or if you buy the R600, that should come with these as well, um, these cords. They're an accessory to the battery uh, power cells if you buy them. These just plug right into there. And I don't think it matters which way it goes in. Does it matter which way it goes in? Like I said, I hope not. And then that will go right in here. You see this? Can't really mess that up. It's pretty self-explanatory. All right, so we are in. All right, let's turn this thing on. This thing's at 100%. This thing has been storing power for over a month now and it's still at 100%. I haven't used it. Power hasn't gone out. I haven't gone on a gaming trip or anything. So <laughs> let's run this power down a little bit and see if we can charge it back up and see how long it takes to do so with the solar panel. It's a sunny day. So I'm excited to put this thing to the use. Yeah, this battery will power the vacuum cleaner full power. Check this out. Plugging in the vacuum. Only brought that down to 96%, so we need we need to suck more juice out. Hey, why not make a small pot of coffee while we're at it here? <laughs> nice hot pot of coffee right there. I'm not, I wasn't even planning on drinking that. I'm just trying to bring this power down, but it's barely budging. All right. Well, I'm at it. Suck this thing down even more. Plug in the edger. I suck at edging, so. Oh! Oh! Oh, that was much needed. Look at that.
clean up that mess later. It only brought it down to 90%. What the hey? Man. So we just got done vacuuming the entire living room, the kitchen, we made a pot of coffee, and we even edged the driveway, which <laughs> needed it really bad. And the Delta 1300 is only down to 90%. Yeah, I'm like, I, I know I'm sweating, it's hot out here, but that's good because the sun's out. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna find a really sunny spot out there, hook up the solar panel, see what it can do. <laughs> Let's test it out. Better than a location right on the grass in the front yard. So I got the solar panel out right now. Check this out. This case actually serves as a double purpose, not only as a protective case, but as a kickstand to the solar panel so you can angle it towards the sun better. Look at that, prop it up. And you can use these little like uh, clip hooks or whatever to clip it just like that and just like that. See now the case basically acts as a kickstand. So something else I want to test out real quick is I'm going to take these plugs back off, these uh, plugs that we plugged in earlier that came with the Delta 1300. So I got this little digital multimeter here used to measure current and whatnot. I'm no expert, but I believe we should get some kind of reading if we plug it into these two plugs. We should get some kind of a current reading here. Maybe I'm putting this in the wrong side, but guess what? I don't care as long as I get a reading. Okay, you guys see? You guys see? Oh, it's negative because I got it going the wrong way. Oh, look at this. Sun's going away. The sun's going away. Look, watch. It's going down. It's going down as the sun's going away. You see that? It's getting a little cloudier. It was above 22, now it's only 21. Look at the sun's coming back out, the number's going back up. Is that even right? Should I even be using that reading for this panel? I don't know, I'm not a freaking electrical engineer. Just chill, okay? The number's up, the number's down. Look at it, it's going up. It's going up even more. It's almost at 28. Oh, why, why are you going down? Oh, all right, it works, that's all that matters. All right, let's just plug her into the battery and see what happens. Pretty self-explanatory, can't really mess this up. So plug in this wire into there, boom. And then this wire into there. I mean, you can't really go, you know, you can't, you can't do it. Yeah, you can't mess this up, it's foolproof. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug this into the battery, Let's see what happens. <gasps> oh, it's inputting watts. We got some slack on this cord, so I'll bring it over in the shade right there and we'll watch it, watch it charge up. But look at that, it's at 99, it's got 99 watts input, inputted right now. 99 watts, 100 watts being inputted, all from the solar panel. So that's gonna be charging this thing up. Hmm. Okay. Oh man, look at, look at. The sun's going away, the sun's going away. Look at this, look. It went down, down to 20 watts, down to 20 watts. So this, these are the watts being inputted. This is the current level of charge it has, 89% or about 90%, like I said. And this is how long it's gonna to take to fully charge up. So as the sun's coming back out, the watts are going back up. So the sun's starting to come back out right now. The watts are going back up that, that, that are being inputted and the amount of hours it's gonna take to fully charge is going back down. So it's probably gonna take about two hours to bring it up 10%. So that might be a lot, you know what I mean? Like you might be like, oh man, two hours to charge, charge at 10%. But think of it like this. It, this is free, basically, it's free. You just got the solar panel, you got the battery. You're, it's, it's energy that, that's just being put to the ground anyways, you know? It's sun, sunlight. You can really get it anywhere it's sunny. That is pretty cool. Let's let this thing charge up a little bit, maybe, maybe a couple percent, just, just so we can prove our point. All right, back under a cloud, but I've had this thing on there for about 20 minutes, and we have 2% up, okay? And it's at zero right now, zero input, because we have full cloud coverage. But yeah, 2% up, it's charging up, it's working. So I would say probably, it says it, when it was going fully, it said it would take about one to two hours to fully charge, but because of all the cloud coverage, judging on that, about 30 minutes, I'd say, I'd say probably take about four to five hours to fully charge this battery back up because of the scattered clouds, basically. If it was full sun, maybe like two hours, two to three. Pretty darn good though, considering that's totally free. That energy is just basically coming from the sun. Look at back up here, folding this thing up. I'll even leave this wire on. Don't know if you're supposed to do that. It should be fine. Closing it up, zipping it up. Man, that is so cool. It comes integrated in its own like little case. There it is. So, in conclusion, this thing's legit. 
Now obviously if this battery was fully uncharged, like all the way to zero, it would take a lot longer to charge it all the way up than five hours, like I said just a second ago. Um, however, like I said a second ago, it's free, okay, it's free. Like sunshine, it's free. You know, if you're stuck out in the wild, <laughs> if it's an SHTF scenario, you got all the time in the world, you know what I'm saying? So. This is awesome. Now, a way you can increase the amount of energy going into the Delta 1300 to charge it faster just from solar panels is you can actually chain a few of these solar panels together. So you can link, in the example here, it has three of these four panel solar panels together. So a total of 12 panels. With that being said, I wanna say thank you so much EcoFlow for sending me this. Check out this solar panel if you're interested. It's on their website. I'll leave a link in the description. If you're interested in this bad boy, if you want some serious backup power, check out the Delta 1300. This thing is a beast. You saw me power that vacuum, that coffee pot, the edger, no joke, man. This thing can output some serious power. It's basically like an electric generator, but it's not really generating energy. It's merely storing energy and then outputting it when you need it. It stores it in the form of the lithium ion batteries. Check out this one, check out the R600, which is basically like a smaller version of this Delta 1300 with some other bonus features, the R600 with the R600 Max adapter. Check out that video when I did a review on that. That is also compatible with the solar panel, so check that out. It's also gonna be cheaper than the 1300 when it's released, so Definitely consider maybe investing in one of those. If you want to live the prepper life or if you want to just go camping or have some extra power on the go, you know, charge up your batteries, you know, when you're on the go, you know, camping, whatever, check out these products. They're awesome. Power's out, but the sun's out. No problem. You know what I mean? Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe. More videos coming out. Hope you all have a great day. Peace. I'll see you all in the next video.